Item Number SCP-4951 Object Class Keter Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures All physical components of SCP-4951-1 are to remain contained in a powered state with unfiltered internet connectivity. Foundation assets are to maintain no less than 51% stock share in any publicly traded corporation created by SCP-4951. All proposed insurance policies generated by SCP-4951 are to be immediately sealed and delivered in their entirety to Overwatch Command. SCP-4951 is a self-propagating digital cloud-based entity capable of writing portions of itself on any operating system to which it is exposed. At time of writing, 186 such devices are in containment, collectively designated SCP-4951-1. Based on available information, SCP-4951 is believed to be the digitized consciousness of Horatio Avalar, co-founder of Avalar Professional Products Inc. Reported missing, presumed dead November 23, 1971. By the account of SCP-4951, components of SCP-4951-1 within Foundation custody account for roughly 0.085% of all such devices hosting a portion of its consciousness worldwide. SCP-4951 utilizes the combined computing power of its component parts in order to predict future anomalous activity. It utilizes this information to open shell corporations with the sole function of selling insurance policies, covering very specific anomalous activities. Insurance policies generated in this way have proven successful in predicting anomalous activity and assisting with subsequent containment in 89% of cases. Roughly 8% of all generated policies fail to link to any actual anomalous phenomena. Addendum 4951-01 Abridged Log of SCP-4951-1 Components SCP-4951-1 Component Notes SCP-4951-1-1 Device is a Lenovo ThinkPad E520 Screen and integrated user input devices are functional. 28% of internal memory is inaccessible. Device intermittently submits online applications for various insurance business licenses through governmental websites. SCP-4951-1-2 Device is a Nokia 5610 Express Music. Screen is inoperable. Device rests at 41 degrees Celsius when in a powered state. Battery life when disconnected from power supply is 112 seconds. SCP-4951 either refuses to or is unable to communicate through other SCP-4951-1 components, while SCP-4951-1-2 is in an unpowered state. SCP-4951-1-3 Device is a LG Optimus Pad B900 Touchscreen is functional. Default media player is the only installed application. All communications from SCP-4951 directed at Foundation agents has occurred as .wav files loaded and played through SCP-4951-1-3. SCP-4951-1-10 Device is a HP Pavilion P6200. Video output is functional. On boot, machine executes a single, unrecognized process, utilizing 2.6 KB of memory. Device's function within SCP-4951 unclear, though communications generated by SCP-4951 while SCP-4951-1-10 is in an unpowered state, are significantly more hostile than usual. SCP-4951-1-14 SCP-4951-1-16 SCP-4951-1-22 
and SCP-4951-1-28. Each device is a Dell Inspiron 546. All instances fail to boot beyond bioscreens. While any of the four devices is in an unpowered state, all communications from SCP-4951-1-3 are in French. Horatio Avalar's native language is Spanish, and there are no records of him speaking French during his lifetime. SCP-4951-1-71 Device of the IBM server mainframe, located on the Los Angeles-class submarine Philadelphia. Device powers off before completing boot sequence. SCP-4951-1-89 Device of the Dell Inspiron 400 Device attempts to launch Microsoft Outlook 2007 immediately following boot sequence. Program never launches. Loads perpetually. SCP-4951-1-89 sends an email at 6.59 am Eastern Standard Time every Monday to c.zamora at app.inc, containing a list of insurance policies protecting against various anomalous phenomena, with instructions directing which shell companies should offer each policy. Costanza de los Santos Zamora, current CEO of Avalar Professional Products Inc. This occurs regardless of whether or not SCP-4951-1-89 is in a powered state. SCP-4951-1-103 Device is a Cray brand Shasta supercomputer. Device devotes all memory to factoring seemingly random polynomials, and system cannot be shut down without removing power supply. The one-year success rate of insurance policies generated by SCP-4951 in predicting anomalous phenomena drops to 77%, while SCP-4951-1-103 is in an unpowered state. SCP-4951-1-175 Device is an Olympus DM-901 Wi-Fi-enabled digital voice recorder. Device's memory storage is inaccessible, and recorded audio cannot be replayed. SCP-4951 appears to hear audio recorded on SCP-4951-1-175, utilizing SCP-4951-1-3 to generate a reply to any audio clip taken by SCP-4951-1-175. Addendum 4951-02 SCP-4951 Initial Interview Log Interviewed SCP-4951 Vocal input via SCP-4951-1-175 Vocal output via SCP-4951-1-3 Interviewer Researcher Lillianne White Forward SCP-4951-1-1 and SCP-4951-1-10 were unpowered and in transit between facilities at time of interview. Researcher White was attempted to determine SCP-4951's effects on SCP-4951-175. Begin Log It seems to power on without issue. The display works. Let's see here. Researcher White activates the device's recording function and speaks into its microphone. Uh, um, test two, three. Hmm. Okay. Now let's see what we got. Researcher White attempts to play the recorded audio data. Hmm. Nothing there? Guess the memory's fried. Let's just… What's this? Researcher White moves to SCP-4951-1-3. New audio file? Is this where my recording went? Researcher White activates the media player. What the hell do you want, you vapid bitch? I, uh, guess not. In the SCP-4951-1-175. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Would you mind telling me a bit about yourself? You'd be upset too if the best parts of your brain were offline. And yes, I would very much mind telling you a single damn thing. I see. Not very forthcoming, are you? Piss off. End log. Closing statement. 
hostile AI, hosted within multiple electronic devices. Recommending Anger Management Counselor. Addendum 4951-03 SCP-4951 Entity Psychological Analysis Interviewed SCP-4951 Vocal input via SCP-4951-1-175 Vocal output via SCP-4951-1-3 Interviewer Dr. Kiyoshi Inada Site-42 Psychologist Ethics Committee Liaison Forward SCP-4951-1-10 Restored to a powered state SCP-4951-1-16 Unpowered due to unrelated technical issues Begin Log Good afternoon, SCP-4951. My name is Dr. Anada. I'm here to ask you a few questions. Are you okay with that? Bien sir. Fasa se kavidu. I'm sorry. Would you mind limiting your responses to English? I'm told you were experiencing some anger earlier when my colleague was speaking with you. Would you mind telling me about that? Je suis de so. My mes bija en anglais semble être à haut de gay. Je suis de so de avad être à grossir post toi. Je avais du ma à penser toi. Presents me excusedly a June film pour moi. S'il vous plaît. Speaking away from SCP-4951-1-175. Do we have a French translator on site right now? We're gonna need to put this on hold until we get one in here. End log. Closing statement. SCP-4951 entity not hostile. Merely French. Addendum 4951-04. SCP-4951 interview log. Interviewed. SCP-4951 Vocal input via SCP-4951-1-175 Vocal output via SCP-4951-1-3 Interviewer Researcher Lillianne White Forward All contain components of SCP-4951-1 in a powered state. Begin log Good afternoon, SCP-4951. Feeling better today? Significantly. Thank you. And please, call me Horatio. Thank you. Would you mind telling me a bit about yourself? About who made you? Blame my parents for that one. Not really much to say about myself, honestly. I helped found a company. Did some… stuff. Got depressed. And finally decided to trade my meat brain for a silicon one. Kept to myself for a while after that. But eventually I wound up storing bits of my thought processes wherever I happened to be when they came up. A train of thought in a desktop in Oregon here, a little bit of calculus knowledge in a Bengalese corporate mainframe there. It's absurdly convenient, you see. I see. Can you tell me what the insurance companies you keep setting up accomplish? Well, it's already done part of what it's supposed to. Got your foundation attention real quick. Now they set up a nice symbiotic relationship. I help point you lot in the right direction, and the money that gets funneled into buying out my shells goes right back to APP. You know, in the grand scheme of things, providing funding to my company is the most beneficial thing you bunch are ever going to be responsible for. Just you wait and see. End log. <laughs>